Hello guys, welcome to a new video of GTA Online where I'll be talking about the brand new update that just came out and contains the Criminal Enterprises DLC and many other improvements that were asked by the community for a long time. So the Criminal Enterprises DLC is a brand new GTA Online update that brings new missions and upgrades including significant expansions to business prospects for criminal careers. But executives aren't the only criminals in GTA Online who can benefit this. MC presidents of clubhouses with a custom bike shop will be able to modify clients' bikes in exchange for GTA cash and RP. Gunrunners will have two new resupply missions available to them. And if you're a nightclub owner, you can now give Tony a call to launch club management missions. Also, new elaborate contact missions are available with players operating as a sworn in agent for the IAA and much more. It also delivers highly requested experience improvements such as increased payouts across a range of gameplay, new modes, vehicles, collectibles, and special events dropping all summer long. On top of all that, for now, five vehicles are also available now to be bought from Legendary Motorsport and Southern San Andreas Super Autos. The number of ownable properties are now increased from 8 to 10, increasing total garage space by up to 20 vehicles. As I said before, this update contains a lot of improvements that makes the gameplay experience significantly better, such as the ability to do cell missions in invite-only sessions, put on the armor and eat the snacks rapidly, have a more effort-balanced pad on doing the heists or nerfing the oppressor Mark II homing missiles. In fact, now the players can effectively be able to purchase max ammo for all weapons at once in the interaction menu. Players are now able to jog inside the Diamond Casino and Resort, the Music Locker and nightclubs. Players will now be able to immediately hang up on phone calls from several contacts like English Dave when they offer missions rather than be forced to listen to the full call before they can hang up also have easier access to snacks and armor through a single input while the weapon wheel is up making it easier to use them during a heavy combat. Plus, if a player fails and quick restarts a mission, snacks will be restocked to however many they started. Also vehicles will be delivered faster when requesting from the mechanic. Another huge improvement that makes the game more enjoyable is the payout increase, giving both new and veteran players greater freedom to play the content they enjoy the most and get what they want faster. To encourage group play, all players joining high setups will receive 50% more cash than the current payout. The heist finales of the Flicka job, the Humane Labs raid, the prison break and the series of funding will award an additional 7-5% cash more. Meanwhile, the finale is of the Pacific Standard and the Doomsday Heist series that contains also the Bogdan Problem Heist Final will pay an additional 50% more cash. All standard race types, including player-created races, will pay out an average of 50% more money. Payouts for all adversary modes currently available in GTA Online like Sumo or Mix, Overtime, Rumble, and many more will also be boosted by an average of 50%. Changes to these payouts will of course combine and stack with the weekly bonuses, meaning even bigger payouts going forward for taking part in your favorite game modes during special events. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. If there's any questions that you guys might have dropped a comment down below, and if you found it very useful, please drop a like on the video. I would greatly appreciate it. And of course, if you guys wanna share this video, by all means, it would also be greatly appreciated and I'll see you guys in the next one.